Good morning. It's just gone 10 in the morning, obviously. We didn't sleep until 10 o'clock at night. It's been pretty calm. There's been a little bit of a breeze, but not really very much. There's been a little bit of rain, but really not very much. It's like, it's like God's up there or Darwin or whoever. And it's like you're sort of just having a little sprinkly sprinkly. And then he thought, no, that, no, that's enough. We don't over, overdo it. And that's literally it. And there's been like two very small sprinkly showers. One, I think, was maybe two o'clock in the morning. And one was maybe, I don't know, six o'clock or something. But, you know, m tiny. But they lasted like half an hour, but it was just like, dro it was just like drops. And you kind of thought, is it actually going to do something or not? And it, uh, and it never did. Ah, interesting. Let's just have a little look around the trail star. Okay, so it looks like, it looks like the, well, whilst the material may not sag, that one's tight. You might still have to do, and I think this is with any lying locks, to be honest. You know, you may have to just do, that one's tight, a little line lock tightening. That one's, that one's tight. A little line lock tightening here and there. That was tight. I think one of the reasons why, you know, you can't get very, very sort of tight, you know, edge panels here is because the material doesn't stretch. <coughs> so each panel to a very large degree is its own entity. So you kind of need that line and that line to tighten uh, this one up. So the back ones are tight. Maybe this one needed to be just to the left, just a tiny fraction, but I've already raised the, you know, the front pole on, on that stone. So I think to get it really tight in this configuration, you kind of need to have, you know, an even longer <laughs> or more stones under your pole to get to get that raised up. Because if you raise that up, then you tighten that, which might help just tighten that, you know, to a degree. But the front won't tighten the back with, with this. And it might only help to a very small degree on the side panels, you know, away from the lines that are doing their own panel. You know, you almost have to see each panel as its own entity, almost. But it's been a very nice, relaxing night. We're gonna start packing up slowly in a minute. For those interested, that 120 milliliter gas canister actually did surprisingly well. It only just ran out this morning for my last really well one cup of tea one cup of tea ago and then I will have one more tea before I go. So it, it got to within two cups of tea for this trip. So for one small gas canister that I have to say is pretty impressive um very impressive to be fair obviously it's very warm so the water is quite warm so it did, really didn't take much boiling I, and i never boiled it you know i never had a rolling boil I, I stopped it you know either as the first bubbles were appearing or when it was very hot you know before a natural boil so that probably helps, you know, conserve gas as well. We will have to, you know, slowly start uh, 
pack up. It's quarter past ten. I didn't bother filming it. I didn't do very much um, video last night, but I had that adventure nutrition meal last night and yeah it was fine i mean like i said uh, I, I must try a hot pot sometime i reckon i reckon they're all pretty good now i mean again i <clears throat> i still think the real term i still <laughs> i still think the real termites are probably probably just has the edge and i probably would say expedition foods is probably you know an equal an equal first or or a very very close second but that, that, that was fine there was nothing there was nothing wrong with that either if that's all you can get and you got a good price get that all right well i think i really do need to start to you know just slowly pack up it's quarter past 10 could really do with trying to get going for about 12 if possible because it's probably i don't know hour and a half to the car I mean two hours maximum but realistically it's probably only an hour and a half it's literally just across here find that path so that path that goes up there somewhere well not a path but trail and i think it does go all the way to the top it actually ended up taking us slightly to the left but we could always branch off to the left a bit if it's going the wrong way because it does seem to go to the right a bit whereas we want to go to the left once we're up there but that's that's the top basically and then you just follow it around and down to the car so it's really <laughs> we really haven't walked we really haven't walked a million miles we certainly didn't do is he we certainly uh didn't quite do what we were partially thinking of doing and wandering over that way more but like i said it was never a marathon it was always just just a very very relaxing very relaxing walk 